what is going on YouTube I am back with another arena video and what I want to do today is just kind of focus on a card that I've been using a lot lately so let's see I, I'm pretty sure if I go to untap GG and pull up my profile here I'll let you see it too <laughs> Let's see here. Go over here. I don't actually know what card I've been playing with the most. So part of the reason I want to do this today is to find that out. So here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Show decks in trash. Okay. Do decks like this instead. Um... So there's no way for me to see what cards I play with the most, huh? Oh, it's probably in this. My collection? Is it under my collection? Uh, no, I guess not. Okay. I guess there's no way for me to see what card I've been playing the most with. Uh, I wonder if... <laughs> let's see oh no that's the other video that i'm editing don't look <laughs> i wonder if there's a way for me to just kind of see for myself hold on okay let's see hmm it's probably erebos's intervention Honestly, it's probably Nylea's Intervention is the card I play the most with. I only have one. No, I do have four rares. Ooh. Let's see here. Let's switch it up then. Let's play with the card I've never played with. Let's see if we can make a... Probably make a three rare deck out of it. So let's do just Call Time... And Zendikar Rising. That way we can kind of keep this card around for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure people are screaming. Play this one! Play this one! <laughs> ha ha ha. Let's just go with rare. Maddening Cacophony. Cherix. Uh -huh. Yeah, Predator would be fun to play with. Plus one, plus one counters, though. And kicked spells? I don't really play too many kick spells. Can you play Soul Tie Kicked? You probably can now. Rolling Vortex. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's really bad. I know she's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, wait. No. Okay. That's not how that would work. Ha. Huh. There aren't really any rares that I want to play with that I don't have four copies of other than old sacrifice -y boy. And honestly, then I just build Mardu brooms. Which I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> Could play Lotus Cobra. Could play. Do I have copies of Dragon Boy? Because if I have copies of Dragon Boy. I will take this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. 
We, I got, I have to investigate. I have to investigate. Collected and not collected. I do have copies of Dragon Boy. Okay, hold up. I don't have this many rares. I have this many rares. Okay. So she makes it. So you can boast twice. He makes it. So that his boast costs less for each dragon you control. So let's just type in dragon then. Uh, yeah. Probably mono red. We're probably just looking for mono red. Ooh, gold span dragon is very good. Leyline tyrant is even better. Hmm. Terror of the Peaks and Gold Span, though, is just so good. So, Dragons is definitely a historic deck, then, huh? Okay, so let's head over to Historic, then. Yeah, we're going to build this deck in Historic. It might be bad. It might not be bad. Dragon. Red. So we have him, her, this, definitely this. Ooh, and Dracoseth is good. Okay, now we go to not collected, rare. Mm, Glorybringer, oh fuck. Ooh, Glorybringer would be much better. I'm gonna take the Glorybringers. <laughs> I don't know if I can craft them, but I'm gonna take them. Glorybringers are much better in this deck. So I have one mana, two mana, and a lot of five mana. So let's go ahead and grab us some three mana cards. And then finish it off with a Destruction. He's our only three mana card. He's not very good, though. Hmm. Hmm. Dragon's Egg. That's not too bad. Sarkhan's Whelp, though. <laughs> I guess we play the Dragon Speaker Shaman, yeah. We kind of have to. And then we need to finish him off. Oh no, because we have to have the glory bringers. That's right. We can go down to glory bringer. We can have yeah, we can have three of three. And now we're just kind of looking for destruction, right? We're not looking to really do too much else here. What am I using a mythic on? I'm not using a mythic on anything. Give me a gold span dragon then. I don't need to be this rich, the fuck. <laughs> I don't live my life for this. We need mana. So let's go ahead. We just type in red. Hopefully that'll give us what we're looking for here. We need some mana. Some mana generation. Because dragons is not fun to play without that. Ouch. Wait. This is in historic, right? Yeah, this is historic. Why don't I have... Um... Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm dumb. Let's see here. I just need a little bit of mana. I'm thinking we will be too slow for oh dragon queen though mana let's go ahead and just type in mana then hmm open the own paths A 
of any other color creature and enchantment spells does work for us. Where, where, oh, this is bad. That's bad. We probably only want two of those because it is so bad. And we want more mana than that. Can I, can you not play that one card? The one that like gives you seven red mana? Is that card banned? Or am I just not seeing it? Huh. Hold up. Let's get this out of here then. I know how to do this. Yeah. Iron crack feet. Damn, I only have one. Okay, well, that'll be our three copies of mana. Now we just get burn. Grab some damage here. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh my god. Red Nap Ruins. Oh, that's pretty good. We'll put that in. Yeah. <laughs> Two damage is pretty fucking good, dude. Like, we could play Snow Dragons. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I don't see a reason to. We're probably going to need the Abrades. The Braid is just really good. And we're gonna need how much of our stuff dies to Storm's Wrath? All of it. Okay. We're gonna need some Dragon's Fire. One, two, three, four. Grab it. So that means we do have to play Thundering Rebuke. At that point, I would much rather just play Perforos' Intervention and lose more often to good cards. I mean, yeah. We need the Leyline Boy for sure to make the deck better. And we're going to have to take some cards out to give, you know, dragon bonuses. If there are any dragon bonuses. So let's type in dragon... And we're looking at, what, what am I have here? Okay, so dragon, yeah. Dragon spells cost one less to cast. Might be good enough. She might be good enough, but I only have one of her, so it's not worth it. Mm-hmm. Nothing that gives dragons bonuses that isn't in rare, huh? That kind of sucks. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, this has taken me so long. I It's been so long since I've looked at dragons in historic. I'm just trying to make sure I cover my bases. Is there anything back here that says dragon? There's an Ugin. Huh. Dragon's Horde, though. I wish I had enough rares for that. I say we go try it. <clears throat> see what we can get. That should be everything, right? Oh, I have two uncommons left. Damn. Is Are there any lands that I want different? You know? Nothing that says dragon on it, sadly. Uh, normally, if you give it a rarity, they'll pop up. Yeah, there we go. Grab those. You can cycle that. Not really worth it. Destroy target land? I'll take that. For five mana. It comes in tap, but meh. Nah. <laughs> you know. We're still playing 14 mountains. I'm going to change my mountains for sure. Let's see. What what are very dragony mountains? What would be... What would be very dragony mountains? Mm-hmm. 
Those are pretty dragony. Not gonna lie, those actually are fairly dragony. <laughs> they they kind of nail it sometimes on the uh, when you're building a deck that's based around like the color theme or something. They really do nail it sometimes. We'll go ahead and put this in. It's not a terrible card. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. We have the Castle Ambraff. We're only playing red anyway. This is a goblin land, right? Yeah, those are gobbly boys. I'll take this one, I guess. Yeah. That's more of like a... Yeah, we'll take these. Okay, so I need 13. But I don't think our dragons are going to be too comfortable in that castle place. So let's go ahead and run it. Let's run it. And you know what we're going to do? Why not just... Can we run it in this? Oh, cool. I don't even know what this means. Isn't this where everything's like banned? Where banned cards are playable or something like that? Whenever you build a deck, just run it in, Mark. This deck is going to need some work. I know that. Let me see if it can at least do the things it's supposed to be doing first. <laughs> That's how I like to think about it. Do have two lands, three lands. Okay. I'll take it. No dragons in hand. That's a good sign. We have the Abrade, the Scorching Dragon's Fire, and the Perforosis Intervention, and they are playing with that many cards. Okay. Awesome. Memorial of War next. Dracoseth isn't too bad there. Shokan. Okay. This might be bad, so we'll just run Nap Ruins. Oh, it comes in, doesn't come in tap. That's awesome. I have to pay a life though. Pain Land, I love it. Yeah, we'll Dragon Speaker Shaman then, so they know what's up. That's right, I'm playing dragons, you mans. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad at all. Whatever he takes, I can just kill Valky, so. Takes Draki. We'll exile that. Nice, I love seeing it. Dum 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 <laughs> Get back my Draki. Get in. The braid is an instant. <laughs> if he's looking for five colors he's he's gonna need to move a little bit quicker he's probably not too worried about it though he costs two less so i can play Draki this turn but let's play the dragon master outcast so that we can leave up the abrade get in <laughs> I love this cat. And he, he sits so perfectly here like the guard. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. When you build a deck around playing dragons and they're hurting for lands, you never want to be up against any kind of dragon deck. I don't care how many colors you're playing in that dragon deck. You don't want to be up against that deck and not have the mana to compete. Ooh, Simic Ascendancy. That's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna play this again. Shit. <laughs> we'll probably get uh, placed up against a deck that's not playing 230-some cards. <laughs> Which, thank God. What a nightmare that is. What an absolute nightmare that is, dude. Like, oof. Oh, yeah, boy. That's what I like to see. That's a hand I can play. Where all of our shit's about to be blipped. Watch. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, not bad. Obviously, I'm never going to block that. We don't want to hit it with the Scorching Dragon Fire. And this is historic, so we are going to want to leave that a braid up. A braid is, I love a braid. I remember when a braid came out. Oh, so good. Okay. Uh, we'll trade then at that rate. Opponent game. What happened? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll take the one actually. I didn't want to, but I didn't realize that I was playing a tap land. So, Scorching Dragonfire is an instant, so we're just waiting for him to get a little, a little cocky, just a little bit. Okay, Ayara, Ayara comes down. Ayara gets blipped. Goodbye. No, no, no Ayara. No Ayara, thank you. We'll sack it. Oh, that sucks. Dragon Speaker Shaman. This way we can play our Gold Span Dragon and actually start making some mana. Then we can Iron Crag Feet. Dracoseth, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm probably just gonna iron crack feet and then Drac and Seth. Yeah. Cool. Dracoseth. Next. No attacks. He's gonna have to deal with Dracoseth. That's our that's our whole goal here, is he has to waste something on Dracoseth so we can keep our gold span dragon, hopefully. Nope, he's just going to continue to set up. Okay, well, we really don't want to see that Gary come out. Good thing Goldspan has haste. We're going to have to blip. Oh, we're definitely going to have to blip both of them. Which means we're still in range of dying to Gary in a few turns if we don't draw more dragons. Good thing we have Memorial of War. Uh. <laughs> It's gold span dragon. Do you guys remember when the Witcher came out? <laughs> deals four, then deals three. Cool. It's mono red dragons, baby. That's right. <laughs> okay. Do your worst. Gain all your life that you can do. Hit me with that Erebos's Intervention. Why does nobody play Erebos's Intervention? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well. I normally only do three games anyway, but. Mono Red Dragons. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So what, you know. What's happening here? Uh, when I build the deck, I oftentimes don't talk about it. Basically, Dracoseth is kind of our goal here. We want Dracoseth to come down and then go, oh shit, oh no. On turn four, ideally, we would love to have Dracoseth, but sometimes we have to wait until turn five, which is good because we have, where is he? Yeah, we have Dragon Speaker Shaman, so Dragon Speaker Shaman helps us with that. As well, we have another combo in the deck that we never even got to see, which is Dragonkin Berserker and Dragon Master Ojatai. Hold on, I'm going to hover over all of this here in a little bit. Goldspan Dragon. And then we have these two boys that are our fixers. We have our way to ramp into Dracoseth again and uh, open the Omen Paths. And then we have a Braid, Scorching Dragonfire, you know, all of the good, all the good murder. So. What's actually happening here is we're playing that good old-fashioned Dracoseth deck that you remember. You remember this deck being a thing, and it probably had green in it. I, all, all the decks I saw that Dracoseth worked in had green in it. Now, we have Open the Omen Paths, uh, because you can name basically anything. As long as you name two red, you will be able to play all the shit that you care about in this deck. So... <laughs> 
Name colorless, name green. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, so you have Open the Omen Pass, you have Dragon Speaker Shaman, you have Iron Crack Feet. Uh, obviously, you could just play three copies of Omen Path if you don't have the Iron Crack Feet. But these cards are how you get to Dracoseth the hard way. The easy way to get to Dracoseth is to just play him. <laughs> and when you're waiting for that to go off, you have Dragon Master Outcast. You have Dragon Kin Berserker, who Dragon Master Outcast just helps you do and create. And you have Goldspan Dragon, which is just a fantastic card. Obviously, if this card didn't say Dragon, I would probably still play it in this deck because you do not want to be playing Mono Red and not be able to cast something. <laughs> you do not want to be playing Dracosev and not have a way to play more mana. So, yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to play Glorybringer because Glorybringer is one of the best dragons that i have ever seen i mean when you exert it it deals four damage to target non-dragon and that's so good it comes in you can exert it it it, it does what dracoseth is so good at doing which is blowing up one thing i mean this is just dracoseth before dracoseth became dracoseth is how i like to think about it i like to think glory bringer was like it was too good so it like died and got buried in the sand and it fell through some huge sand pit and then it just became dracoseth i don't know <laughs> but terror of the peaks is also good because you are playing dracoseth because you are playing glory bringer and because you are playing uh goldspan dragon that's f uh five damage that's five damage and that's seven damage off of a terror of the peaks and then you're just playing a braid too good scorching dragon fire it's all right you know and then you're playing perforos's intervention you could just play shocks most of the time you don't need perforos's intervention i like to have perforos's intervention because sometimes they'll wipe the board and only have three life left and you can just use the elemental to kill them and then shadow skull smashing i like this because there's going to be a lot of times where you need to just kind of blip something so you need to just kind of hit something really big and then hit it with the scorching dragon fire to exile it or just hit it with an abrade to kind of get rid of it but x destruction spells in red is just so good and just play four copies of intervention if you have them you don't even need this card at all and if you don't have these cards like i said shock uh storm's wrath is not a bad idea it will kill all of your shit just remember that it will kill everything but your thing so only play like two copies of it but you know dracoseth isn't gonna die to that and then when it comes to the lands we didn't do anything with our lands and that's okay we're not worried about it honestly we're probably never gonna use um i moved the wrong one over probably never gonna use castle ambrass ability though having it in the deck is really nice if let's say they're playing a deck that said you can't play dragons or dragons can't attack or something you're gonna have the dragon <laughs> dragon speaker shaman and your outcast are gonna be able to swing in with one more <laughs> damage honestly you're just fucked in that case uh but we do have artifact destruction in a braid so most of the time you'll be okay uh memorial to war is just you don't want another dragon deck to get ahead of you so that's why you're playing memorial war and uh run nap ruins is just shock for way more damage and you sacrifice a land so yeah yeah if you watch my channel you know i love utility lands uh i hope you enjoyed this video of me trying to figure out what i'm trying to do and also just building a dragon deck that's awesome thanks for watching <laughs>